Hello everybody, and today we're going to be critiquing a beginner artist uh, called Pablo Picasso. And we're going to go through what they can do to improve their art. So first things first, uh, this face is fucked. Uh, but this is this is going to take a while. Not a not a big fan of the colors, but you know, let's keep the artistic vision going no matter how bad. Basically, what you should have started is uh, construction because that's uh, you know if you have, if you have never drawn a face before, I'm guessing you should probably try to like measure what a face looks like. We're using the puzzle pieces here of what could have been a good face. She looks very wobbly and lanky, so I don't know. I guess we'll have to do that. The thing about drawing hair is that it's actually, you know, bundles of hair strands, it's not a bunch of worms. And you know, you want to constantly check your proportions because this is what your drawing looks like. It looks, uh, looks stupid. Let's make it extremely pale because, I don't know, I guess you could be dead. So in your painting, uh, your girl has an extremely large shin. And I guess my question would be, why would you do that? Are you stupid? The blue robe that she was buried in. We're adding in that uh, blue, cold corpse look. We can follow your artistic vision of adding in a bunch of crap that uh, doesn't look like anything. You know, on your portrait, it could be, you know, an ear, or it could be, you know, like a blue Shrek ear. Who knows? I'm going to take the liberty of having human ears. And there we go. It shouldn't be harder than that. And uh, now we have finished your uh, dead corpse girl or homestuck character or whatever this is. So starting with the next drawing, we... Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. So from this I can immediately tell that you're trying to do like comic art and trying out line art. Uh, it's, uh, it's botched, but whatever, let's do it. So we start off with drawing the face and you know, most people will have to draw like a hundred faces before they draw a good face. And I think in your case a thousand. Always think about it looking three-dimensional, you know, like an object in the real world. So basically your girls always have to look pretty. Um, and if they don't, then I will personally laugh at you, because why would you try to be a bad artist? We make her look extremely pretty while crying. It becomes a bit of a problem if the girls that you draw are too emotional, because in that case we might uh, end up relating to them. Your colors are just becoming more and more of a problem here, I'm not, I, I don't know how I'm, how I'm gonna keep up with this. So what immediately strikes me is that you are very influenced by Mike Mignola in terms of line art. But you have missed out on the core concept behind all of this inking, which is to cover up all of your mistakes with ink. I don't like this part, so let's put ink all over this. Um, put some ink here. Uh, face looks weird, just ink it. And there you go, that's how line art works. Whenever you're doing digital art, you can actually use brushes uh, to set a perspective for your drawing. You can also adjust your polygon tool to be a perspective tool. And basically, what we can tell from doing this is that you're not even fucking trying! This is the uh, worst anime I've ever seen. It's not that different from other faces. You know, you just draw the ball, add the things in. It's an anime. Just, you know, color it and let's uh, get it over with. Presto, go fight with the mangas. Uh, there's some nudity in this one, so we'll have to censor that out. Um, no, I'm not doing this one. Um, again with the anime here. And, but you know, what's the point in teaching you how to paint? Let's just go straight up Photoshop with this one. With the liquify tool, we can adjust this to have proper Japanese facial proportions. We're just doing some minor changes. And there we go, finally we have a smug anime girl. Um, there is something missing. Yeah, there we go. I think to summarize your problems, you're taking something that should be very simple and just making a mess out of it. Literally, all you had to do was draw a sexy woman, you know, looking at herself in the mirror, at her sexy body, and and what you did was you took that and you made it into a bunch of balls. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's cool for you, but that's not gonna get you anywhere on Instagram or Tumblr. Basically, my critique of this is, uh, draw more hot bods, no one cares about balls. So Pablo, hopefully you have learned something. You need to go back to the art fundamentals before you try these kinds of things and experiment a lot with different styles. You know, you can keep drawing, you can improve. Just keep an open ear to people who know art better. Thanks for checking out the video. Tune in soon for some more epic art reviews. Smash that like button, peace out.